Recursion Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol RXRX, is at the intersection of AI and drug discovery. Today, I'll break down why it's one of the most shorted stocks on the market, what the company actually does, the real fundamentals that lie behind it, and why I think the short setup has formed. Let's get into it. Recursion Pharmaceuticals is currently trading at $5.73 on the market. It's gotten beaten down all year long, pretty much. And they are currently building a biotech operating system, which combines massive phenomic data sets, high throughput lab automation, and GPU supercomputing, which generates different candidates that for drug discovery that are cheaper and faster than the traditional methods that are used. As we can see on the screen here right now, it is an end-to-end -end AI drug discovery and development company leading a new sector of biopharma called TechBio. This is absolutely revolutionary technology and it, it explains why NVIDIA recently has put 50 million into a strategic partnership. And its, it's recursions models are also powered through NVIDIA's BioNet Mo stack and, and the company runs on its BioHave uh, supercomputer. So that explains why NVIDIA is, is a huge component of this. And I think it, it is something that has gone under the rug the last couple months, but it's something that is one of the key parts of this business. And I think we could see it continue to add into the value proposition of the company. RxRx has pulled back sharply this year as we could see at the highs here it was over probably close to $11 a share and now it is trading just at $5.73 and obviously we had all the hot biotech runs earlier this year but as of October the, the stock is now in the mid fives and uh, I think the macro risk off in, in small biotech and mixed cl clinical updates has driven this kind of reset in stock price and we saw in May uh, recursion discontinued their REC994 and for cerebral carnivious uh, mal malformations and trimmed other legacy programs to streamline their pipeline, which was which was painful for the stock. We saw the stock drop over 40%. I've been investing in this for over six months now, and we saw that this um, uh, caused a lot of damage on the stock in the near term, and, it, and it's questioning what is really going on on the back of the, the scenes and what what are they doing that is going to create innovation? But on the flip side, I think the, this created a focus on assets with a stronger scientific rationale and higher potential for impact. And I, this is absolutely what we need to see in the company because as we've seen oh, year over year, as, especially with Q2, the, the revenue has grown and the company ended June with $534 million in cash and cash equivalents, as we can see here. And this is providing them with a multi-year runway that could help scale their platform. And it, even though, of course, they're going to have to continue to spend on R&D. I think they will have enough cash to not have to dilute shareholders. And this, this cash is basically a lifeline for them to scale up and hit milestones. While, of course, the cash burn is still very significant, I'd watch the quarterly use. And I think they're making good advancements in creating revenue and starting to create something with these partnerships that they have and, and narrow down the pipeline that they're focusing on, which is, brings us into the next point of the, the partnership with NVIDIA. This collaboration gives them a huge advantage over all the other companies on the market, in my opinion. I think this this um, gives them more computing and distribution via the, the BioNemo platform, which is uh, providing them computational resources and distribution channels that are critical for training large AI models and could generate significant platform revenue over time. This is absolutely massive and no other stock on the market really has this type of investment that um, that is going directly into the company and it's directly affecting the company. As we've seen, they've cut the the other models in their other programs that they were working on and it, as they discontinued three drug development programs to focus on higher higher assets with higher potential and this i think is going to be a good move in the company's um future because they they saw that there wasn't enough profit inside these mark companies and they were putting too many resources into them and this was why they switched over and i think of course near term it caused a lot of issues but i think in the long term i think the revenue will increase versus the prior year and i think this is still very early stage but milestones and services are going to smoothen it out so of course we have to keep expectations realistic it is still a company that is trying to grow it's trying to figure out a revolutionary technology and it's very pre-commercial but um, I think the platform is 
is insane what they're being able to develop in the recent months and i think it's it's reflected in inside of uh the short interest with estimates showing 133 million shares to short which is roughly 33 percent of the public float and with about 2.3 days to cover that is very elevated that is one of the most elevated i've seen in any stock in recent times and it is pretty much setting up for a short squeeze in the near term i think if 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 anything matters and if any positive news comes in, I think we could see a short squeeze coming in very soon, especially with, with the institutional ownership being at 71%. This will all be driven by retail who are shorting the stock and attempting to create uh, a position here because the bears are in it because they, they call out the cash burn, the long timelines for monetization, and the recent program cuts. But the bulls, we realize that there's unique data mode. There's a scaled computing with NVIDIA and multiple shots on goal from, from platforms. And th this is uh, creating potential for milestone flow from partners as well. And now let's look at the technicals. There was obviously, we've seen in the pre-markets at 589 right now, but let's, let's look at the bigger chart here. We've seen it, it has stabilized at this $5 uh, pulled back into the mid fives. And RXRX is sitting near its prior consolidation that we've seen in the past. Very much so. It's kind of consolidated around there from earlier in the year. And bulls want to see the it move up to higher lows above that base and push through recent lower highs to flip the trend kind of. I think if we can make it past around around the $6.40 mark, I think we could push towards higher highs again. And the, the bears are obviously waiting for a rejection to see it push back down into into the $5 range. But I, I'd, I'd, I'd have to keep a main look on the 50-day the moving average and keep an eye on the volume as we move around this 5 to $7 mark and see where we're moving. Of course, in pre-market, we're moving up, which is very exciting. But um, it's something to keep an eye on and it's something to watch. Analysts have targeted at $10 at a high and a low of three. But analyst recommendations are all hold or buy. I think this is the main idea I'm kind of setting across. It's, this is a stock where I would not be doing anything but holding or buying at this point in the in the company's legacy and in the price point. I mean, at a price point of the mid fives, it's really very undervalued in my opinion, especially it, if we have this interest in a short squeeze all we really need is one hard catalyst one data new partnership milestone one new platform deal that invalidates all the bears theses and this will go flying out not only this but there's limited liquidity percentage and we've seen a high short uh percent of the float so covering will lift the price very exponentially not only this but the momentum confirmation with a volume spike and break of resistance to, this will all trap the shorts and given 33% of the float is a short and there's two days to cover RX RX can move hard on positive sur surprises but without catalyst I think high short interest isn't alone enough uh, but I think we could see anything really happen we've seen it all with this stock and I think it's anything's possible at this point so as the stocks trading at at the mid fives I think it is still of course speculative and it's thesis driven AI biotech and a, I think a small starter position or a, a tiered buy near near support and adding on real fundamental wins. I'd see this as an early stage biotech where you assume volatility and let catalysts uh, dictate your ads. If you're trading the squeeze, I'd say use stop levels and uh, respect all the different levels you see. And in the future, I think what we need to watch is any new NVIDIA productization, model scale-ups, or external customer traction partner milestones are fresh collaborations this is going to be a, a very big one to watch especially in the coming months also the cash burn trajectory versus guidance as i said they have 500 over 500 million in cash but we're gonna to have to watch how they use this cash if this if this is a good use of the cash and, and if uh we still believe in the company after they they report next earnings also the pipeline clarity for for post streamlining and on early data readouts. This is gonna be important to watch how, how the tests are going, how everything's moving in the company's back backlogs that we cannot see as investors currently and they know what's going on more than us. But I think everything's looking good, especially as we've seen this institutional ownership move up and we have not seen very many uh, sales on the insider position, which is always exciting to see. In my opinion, this is a buy but um, I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.